Last month we, we reported that, that new documents have emerged from the Vatican archives showing that Pius XII saved tens of thousands of um, European Jews from the Nazis. Do you think that the tide's now beginning to turn in, in Pius's favour? I would hope so, I couldn't be sure. Mm. The, uh, um, there's a rabbi who works at Ave Maria University, I think his name is Darlin. Mm. I'm not absolute, mm. is that the correct I think name? it sounds right, yeah. Uh, now, I read his biography of uh, Pius XII. Mm. Uh, Pius certainly did uh, uh, an enormous amount to help the Jews directly and indirectly. In Italy, a higher percentage of Jews survived than in any other place. I stay in the Palazzo San Callisto in Rome. There were hundreds of Jews hidden in the basements there um, mm. uh, during the war. Um, it's very easy for us to be uh, saying that people should talk tough for, because uh, the terrible sanctions uh, that were, that had taken place then, uh, just not, they don't threaten us. It's very difficult for us to understand what that world was like. Uh, I mean, as we all know, when the uh, Dutch hierarchy spoke out against uh, the Nazi atrocities. Uh, that resulted in all those um, uh, Jews who had been converted uh, into Christianity being taken up and uh, off to the off to the gas chambers. I mean, the uh, um, that was the moral dilemma he was in. Would he speak, and thereby almost certainly? Uh, provoke uh, immediate extra deaths and punishment for people. Mm. It's a terrible uh, dilemma. Mm. Um, and it's a monstrous injustice to suggest that somehow uh, he was aiding and abetting the Nazis. The, the, the Nazis hated the Catholic Church. We know from Hitler's table talk that if he'd won the war, he proposed to set up a pope in every country he captured. Mm. Um, uh, it was a terrible, terrible situation for the Pope to, uh, to be in and I certainly hope that he's uh, treated more justly in the future than he has been in the past. Do you believe that he was a saint? Yes, I do. I, I have uh, no problem at all with... Uh, uh, with uh, I wouldn't have any problem at all with his canonisation. How about, how about the uh, impact on Catholic-Jewish relations? Uh, already quite tricky. Well, yes, well, um, we each have to play it as we see it. Mm. And I'm a long-standing friend of the Jewish uh, community. Uh, I believe that Pius XII did a lot for the Jews. Uh, and that was recognised after the war by the Jews themselves. Mm. Uh, you know, he was recognised by the Jews then as a uh, righteous uh, Gentile, the chief... Uh, rabbi of Rome became a Catholic. You don't join a church immediately in the aftermath of a cataclysm like the Second World War if you regarded it uh, as the enemy. Mm -hmm. This drive uh, started with Hockuth's play, The Representative, in I think in 64. Now we, we now know that Hockuth was inspired to do this by the East German Marxists. Mm -hmm. It's a um, and it's been taken up uh, mistakenly. Um, uh, you know, I mean, it's quite incongruous. One of the things that I think Darlin points out in his book, the role of the Mufti in Jerusalem, mm -hmm. you know, who visited Nazi Germany explicitly uh, uh, in favour of the terrible anti-Jewish uh, uh, programmes, and uh, he never gets a mention in dispatches. Mm -hmm. And uh, bias who battled directly and through church agencies to try to do what he, he could, is branded as somebody who, uh, who didn't. What, what's going on there? I mean, why, why, would, why is it so selective? Well, that's, uh, that's a, very good, uh, it's a very good question. Sometimes, you know, uh, movements can br develop a, a momentum of their own, but uh, in the case of Pius, I think it's, uh, it's unfortunate. Mm. 